Richmond, California. That's the West Coast, ain't it, though, blood? Mr. Rogers, what he run the neighborhood? Mr. Rogers, man. Richmond Cali. Wow. One, two, three, A, B, C. We bought it back. You know they body 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 because I showed and realized P was from New Orleans till we went back to New Orleans. When he did this bounty, but look, I'm telling you, what grade I was in. Damn, ninth grade. I was in ninth grade because them niggas had, niggas just, just had like left. Just, just had left because I was in the ninth grade. That nigga sipped the shocker and went to um, De Anza High School a year before I went to that motherfucker. So when I was up there, I'm thinking them niggas still like... Them niggas, so when they did this video, I'm looking, trying to see, what is that, is that Richmond? Is that, is that Richmond? Is that, you ain't even in Richmond no more, you done left. But on his old, all his old stuff, when he was in Richmond and stuff, he always said New Orleans. He always said New Orleans, you had to pay attention. And then when he went back to New Orleans, he always say Richmond, but then you had to pay attention. Because when he went back to New Orleans, he didn't represent Richmond like that. But when he was in Richmond, he ain't represent New Orleans like that. He was representing Richmond. You feel me? But... Like I say, man, or I'm going to say, like I say, I'm going to say, I don't know what really happened to his daughter. I see a lot of videos, people talking about sacrifices, and we know about, like, yeah, people sacrifice whatever they do, but we know a lot of these people don't even sacrifice that they're um, mass characters, that they um playing roles, that they play roles, that they wear prosthetic masks, they put on makeup and look like somebody else how Hollywood do it in the world of sports, drugs, and entertainment. <clears throat> so I don't even know if she really did pass or that character passed. I don't really know if she's a real person. I don't know if that's really her daughter. I don't know if it's a robot. I don't know if it's some kind of clone stuff going on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I know if she did pass. Because it's a members only. This game is a members only. So she did pass. <coughs> Excuse me. If she did pass, she already didn't pass. Like we told you about Betty White. Like Betty White already been dead for 10 years, nigga. Then they come out talking about Betty White is just died. The Mandela effect, nigga. Y'all niggas better come up with a reset or something like that. Because y'all talking about old Betty White died. Nigga, she been dead, nigga. So, because on the video... On the videos where people talking about the conspiracies and stuff, you have people leaving comments talking about like, oh, y'all act like these people don't die in car accidents and like they're just immune and stuff like that, which you are correct. So if she did die in a car accident or something like that, nigga, that, it's a members only, nigga, they're going to, nigga, they ain't going to let your ass know. They're going to come out what they want you to know, right? Because we, we right. You feel me? We don't know what happened. But like I said, we don't even know if these people, who these people, we don't know if these people are robots. Mannequins, you feel me? Artificial beings, nigga. Artificial beings, nigga. We know it. <laughs> we don't know, so we don't know what's going on. But we know it's a members only thing, and they ain't gonna tell you. And we know they like to use these distractions. You feel me? So it's not time for P. Time for you to come up with a distraction, because they gonna run play after play with these distractions. So P got to come up with a distraction. We know this. We know this. Did she really? Overdose on drugs. Was she already been passed away? Did P sacrifice her? 
Was she a clone? Was she a robot? Was she really his daughter? Like, it, it's a million things. It's a million things. It's a million things <clears throat> to know what's going on because we don't know what's going on because we don't know these people. Was she really a female? Did she get her sex changed? Was it really a boy? Nigga, we don't know. We don't know, nigga. So they saying P went, they say, oh, P went broke. And he, nigga, how do you go broke with all that money and shit, nigga? What did you do, nigga? You spent, nigga. You, you, what you want to go spend two hundred million a year, nigga? Going to the, going to the, um, going to the Ritz Carlton, nigga. Spending two hundred million a year, nigga. Taking a jet to the Ritz Carlton or something, nigga. Oh, fuck, nigga, you go broke with that type of money, nigga. Shut up. So if you got that type of money that you suppose we got, nigga, you can't go broke, nigga. That's ten generations of wealth, nigga. And I'm talking about broke, nigga. That's ten generations of wealth, nigga. The type of money they talking about these niggas sitting here playing with. But these niggas ain't sitting here playing with this shit because these niggas ain't got no businesses for you. These niggas ain't got no businesses for you. All these old rich, elite, black niggas got all these billions. James, King James, LeBron, nigga, just touch a billion. Everybody was telling me, oh, you know... Le LeBron James is worth a billion dollars. Nigga, and I bet you, nigga, and I bet you, nigga, I bet you 50% of his money came from the penitentiary, nigga, that your uncle and daddy and them up in there, little boy. I bet you his money, like Michael Jordan, nigga, came from the penitentiary locking your ass up, nigga. He buying LeBron's and he sending your ass to the penitentiary, nigga, just like, like his cousin, like his cousin, nigga. His cousin Bill Clinton, nigga, who was pimping, getting head, smoking, hitting weed and shit, nigga, all in the White House, nigga. His cousin who passed all the crack laws and niggas still vote for the Democrats and they passed all them crack laws, nigga. His cousin, I'm saying his cousin, because nigga, and all them niggas was related, nigga. And we know that nigga probably is a masked up character. I'm not going to say who they say that nigga is, but now they say, nah, nah, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. <laughs> They, they say they, they say they say that's um LeBron James is um the gang. The gang, nigga. The nigga from Bompton and it's funny the niggas always be on game too, like your story don't be adding up. Now this another nigga well, I'm glad I brought this up that was in the Bay Area too, because the gang was with JT the bigger figure in San Francisco, nigga. He did his first album, nigga. The niggas was in Richmond. All these niggas you got to come through Richmond. Um, bro, I'm telling you it's a magnetic field, bro. It's like like when niggas talk about the Bermuda Triangle and last video talking about Niagara Falls and shit. Richmond, is, you have to come through Richmond, nigga. B.B. King, nigga. James Brown, nigga. I'm black and I'm proud. With a perm and a jerry curl slid through, nigga. You feel me? With some oil sheen, nigga. Everybody in their mind. I'm talking about, nigga, even to the nigga, to the dope gang, nigga. To the, to the Panther shit, to the dope game, niggas from New York to Chicago, big niggas coming out there, nigga, with that dog food, nigga. I'm talking about from somebody to everybody, you feel me? You had to hit Richmond with this nigga, you know what I'm saying, was in the Bay doing that shit. And then um, Dre finally signed the nigga, and then this nigga started doing his thing. But nigga, he, he say, um, he always claiming he a blood. Nigga always claiming he a blood, but in Compton, which is, you know, that side of the rag would be bombed in. You yeah, feel me? Them niggas is Pyru. We know that from like, because I ain't, I'm from Cali. I'm from the Bay Area. I'm going to let y'all know I'm from the Bay Area, Cali. LA is eight, hour, eight hours away, bro. Eight hours away. So there's totally two different worlds and totally, totally two different worlds and stuff like that. But as we know, like, them is Pyru's out there. Pyrus, but he's saying he had blood, and then people talking about they don't really know the nigga like that and stuff like that. So you, we already know something fishy about game. You just jumped out there, <clears throat> jumped out there, and he's Hurricane Game. Remember, Game is a basketball player, nigga. And remember, Game. You probably, I mean, you probably don't know it. The Game and LeBron James is nigga. That nigga Game is hella big. Why you think he was trying to pick on all the niggas, bucking all the niggas and shit like that? Nigga? Why you think he was doing all that shit, nigga? That nigga a hella big ass nigga, bro. And he played basketball. Man. You feel me? So they saying that's that nigga. Bro. Also, I can see the resemblance. I can see the resemblance. Man. Niggas, I used to fuck with game hard. I can see the resemblance, nigga. Yeah, feel me. But anyway, like I'm saying, it it could it, it cannot probably. 
be possible. You feel me? It's probably just, <laughs> just probably just tripping. But these niggas do shit like that. But that's what they saying that nigga is. But that nigga, all these niggas got all that money. These niggas got all that money. Rick Ross got a franchise to wing stops. He ain't come out with that nigga ain't come out with Ross's wings. That nigga got a franchise, nigga. All these niggas, nigga. They got billions, Nelly, nigga. Um, that nigga Serena Williams. I mean that that nigga Serena Williams, nigga. You know, feel me? And then the movie, nigga. And I was telling, I was telling a little bit, right? I was telling a little bit, right? You know, feel me? I was telling a little bit that that's a man. And in the movie, what was Will Smith calling her? Junior, nigga. In the movie, he was calling her Junior, Junior. Ain't nobody calling her Junior because, nigga, that's the nigga, nigga. That's JR, nigga, Junior, nigga. You feel me? Young one, young boy, nigga, young bull, nigga. <laughs> that's a nigga. That's why he was calling her Junior. And that mother, all the niggas got all that money, nigga. Nelly, nigga, Ludacris, nigga. Oprah, nigga. Oprah got all that money. She supposed to be from Chicago, nigga. You feel me? She supposed to be from Chicago. She got all that money. But she go build schools in South Africa, which we already know why she probably put stuff out there because you got to put stuff out far away. You Even they got places in America you can put stuff in the middle of the desert in a minute where niggas can't hear you scream and shit, but we know what you want. You, you weird niggas want to do way. We, we already know, though. But, but nigga, how come you ain't got no schools in Chicago? No, you from Chicago, nigga. Nigga, you ain't from Chicago, nigga. Niggas ain't from Chicago. Nigga, niggas ain't even from America, nigga. Fuck up out of here, nigga. You ain't even from, but then you probably is, but then you still can't get put in those schools in Chicago. You niggas can't put up nothing, nigga. But the, all the other foreigners, nigga, even the black foreigners, nigga. When I say foreigner, you don't think I'm, nigga, even the black foreigners, nigga, get to come and get businesses, nigga. But the American nigga, you know what I'm saying? The so-called African-American man. You know what I'm saying? You don't get none of that, nigga. You don't get none of that. Even in your own motherfucking communities, nigga. Even in your own hoods, your own cities, nigga. You don't get none of that shit, nigga. But all these foreigners who don't have no hoods and communities. Some of them have some some places, but that don't count. Nigga, if you, ain't have, if you don't have a motherfucking hood in the community in each state in North America, nigga, I ain't talking about you, no disrespect, no nothing, but this is like real in the field type of shit, nigga. You feel me? Go holler at nigga. Yeah. Go holler at, at them Canaanite niggas, yeah. And them Edomite niggas and your Canaanite guys and all them shits about that shit, nigga. I don't give a, you know what I'm saying? Talking to you, nigga. Because you niggas been playing these games too, nigga. You niggas been sitting up here with these TVs and shit showing big cities, nigga. You niggas want to show LA. You niggas want to show New York. The niggas want to show us a little bit of niggas in Miami. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, okay, then you want to show us like some Philly shit. And be like, okay. You, you niggas trying to show niggas like, oh, it's a lot of black people down south. But you don't show us about all these Kansas cities, St. Louis's, and bro, all these states that you go through when these niggas is at and got communities and all these motherfuckers. All these states, so-called states, which is countries, nigga, because they just call them states, which they really is countries, but you know we under, <clears throat> like, some maritime law, law, the sea law, the abyss, like, we on some sea fish water law, nigga, some commercial type shit, like, we ain't, you feel me, they didn't change the whole shit, even though that shit only supposed to be Washington, D.C., that's where they got the jurisdiction, that's why... I, when you go in, you tell them niggas you ain't got no jurisdiction, nigga. You ain't got no jurisdiction, nigga. This ain't Washington, D.C., nigga. You feel me? But these niggas running a whole play. But on the niggas, I could see if, if they was really telling the truth how much of, of, of us it was. Because if it was, then if it was, if y'all say it's only like 50 million niggas, then that means uh, you other motherfuckers ain't that, it can't be that many that y'all say. Because these 50 million niggas are sprinkled out. In each state. And I can tell you, we can start from Cali, nigga, from the top of Sac, Roseville, hit all that to the bay, to the outside of the bay, all Central Valley, till you get to LA, all in LA, to San Diego and all that. Bro, you know how many cities that is, bro? It's like 80 something cities 
with niggas in that motherfucker, bro. Like, this shit ain't adding up. This shit ain't adding up. This shit. Then you go hit Seattle, and then you go, and like, bro, like, <clears throat> this shit ain't adding up, but niggas don't get nothing. We don't get nothing, though. But we get to talk about who sacrificed who and shit, and these niggas that got all this money and shit, and they ain't gonna give us nothing. They might let you get a rap deal with them if you're rapping and you're dope or something. Like, niggas ain't gonna, ain't got nothing for you. Niggas ain't got a shoe store for you to go to. You ain't got wood shop, mechanic shop, nigga, carpentry. Niggas ain't got no type of nothing. But these niggas got all this money, man. All these Oprahs and Bob Johnsons and, oh, and Tyler Perry. And what did Tyler Perry just do? Medea, nigga. That's what I'm saying, man. So, like I say, if she did pass, she already been passed. This is a members only, and these niggas is here just to distract us. Once you get that contract, nigga, you debrief. You don't know what debriefing is. Debrief is, nigga, like, if you in the feds, like, it's like you're not telling, but you are telling. Like, you feel me? Like, you have to, bro, you have to debrief, nigga. Like, even in the army, with some shit, nigga, something, you got, like, you debrief, like, bro, you, you feel me? Like, I mean, like you, you niggas know, like, niggas know, like, common sense, bro. Like, nigga, you niggas know that them niggas, if they even is a real nigga, if you get getting. You done told them everybody in their mama just to get in there. You get into these organizations, nigga, they gonna ask you about that nigga, what that nigga doing, who is, what your mama did in 1969, nigga. You, like, you niggas debrief, nigga. Yeah, dude, and if he's a real, it was, I'm talking about a real person. I mean, not like a real nigga, like you real, like a real person, nigga. You debrief, nigga. So, you talking about <clears throat> these celebrities and all these niggas and shit like that, and yeah. Ancient niggas and your Malcolms and your Martins and all that shit, nigga. I don't care. Bro. I don't care. Niggas ain't did nothing for niggas. Niggas ain't got nothing. Nothing. What niggas? What niggas? What niggas did for niggas? Bro? A nigga got a street. Oh, the nigga got a street. Okay, go to MLK and see what happened to your ass, nigga. See if your ass gonna get shot, nigga. Pull up on MLK, nigga. See what's gonna happen to your ass. You think it's? Heavenly scene or something, you think it's nigga, a whole bunch of churches, nigga, giving out free lunches and shit, nigga, boarding and education, nigga, you thought it was a, you thought it was where niggas can go hook up, nigga, and shit, nigga, yeah, niggas hook up, nigga, niggas show hook up on MLK, nigga, we don't, give a, we don't care about none of you um, niggas, none of you celebrity niggas, none of you, um, I ain't gonna say none of you niggas, but we know some real niggas, we know spooks that sat by the door, man, we know some real niggas, man, we know the real niggas, man, you feel me, we know the spook that sat by the door, and we know this, but we saying, bro, most of you niggas, and then I was just thinking about Kali Muhammad, nigga, did somebody do something on Kali Muhammad, nigga, was, was, was Kali Muhammad a death faker, did they really, did, because remember they posted that shot him the first time, and they ended up killing him. You feel me? Everybody a death faker. Niggas don't die. You can't die, man. Everybody just be everybody just be faking over here. High power faking. That's all they be doing. That's high power faking. So is it safe to say that they took off Steve Coakley for busting out the boule? So I know that I mean everybody always mentioned him as the first nigga. I know that's the first nigga that I know. I don't know if it's somebody else that busted out the boule. That's why we know about the boule, the bully and shit like that. That nigga used to go to the meetings and be on them niggas and shit like that. Like, or was that like some op shit, to, like a shit Nigerian candidate around this motherfucker, man? You feel me, nigga? Nigga having motherfucking beta pig flashbacks, nigga. Beta pigs. I'm like, nigga, you ain't old enough to be in beta pigs, nigga. Nigga, we drank that water in Argentina, nigga. Niggas did that shit. But for real, though, man, like, have niggas a straight man during candidates and shit like that, nigga. So y'all need to cash them checks to the niggas y'all need to cash them checks with and stop giving our money to these foreigner niggas. You feel me? They ain't doing shit for us and shit. All you niggas work a lot. Most ain't none of them niggas. None of them niggas from over here, nigga. Obama. You trying to claim Chicago. Niggas always want to claim the fame. Niggas claim the fame. And some of them, them niggas claim the fame. The niggas claim your hood. And then as soon as the niggas get on and shit, now they claiming a whole nother part of the world. Nigga like Drake and shit, nigga. First nigga, you ain't you wasn't from Canada at first when you was rapping, nigga. Now you was a Canada ass nigga. Nigga.